so we can edit this right out. Yeah. Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com, joining me as ever is... Jonah Griffiths. And as we normally do, we're having good times aboard the boat. So, you know, it's all good and dandy on the boat, but what happens when you want to stop? What do you do to stop the boat that's floating away? Well then, Jono, I'm glad that you've asked me that, because we need to moor up. So, there's a few different ways that you can moor up. One of the most common ones that you'll see, especially on holiday boats, are your standard mooring pins. You've got a straight mooring pin there, and one with a little loop so that you can thread a rope through it more, more securely on this type. And these, basically, you just pull up anywhere there's a bit of soft ground, and you're allowed to moor, obviously. And drive it into the ground and then tie your ropes and hope for the best. You will need one of these though because unless you're the Incredible Hulk you won't get that in the ground otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely Jono <Jotto> smash! <laughs> so the, these rather impressive looking boat hooks that you just slide below the, the metal sided canal banks. Yeah, the mooring hooks are probably one of my favourite ways to moor up, as they are as easy as just slotting it behind the piece of metal, basically. And then if we pull up to the bow here, please ignore my terrible knots. That's something that I'll do another video on when I've actually learned how. And basically, you just moor up, not too tight, not too slack. And once again, hope for the best that she's still here when you get back. And now that we've done a little bit of travelling, last but not least, one of the most common types of moorings is the mooring ring. Now, you'll probably only find these at proper designated mooring spots, and these little places like this that are 48 hour stretches, but they are pretty much just about as easy as you can get, even easier than the boat hooks, as it's just a ring in the ground. So, that's a quick look at the different ways that you can moor up. I've been Dan Brown. I've been John Griffiths. Until the next time, farewell. Oh, you should have said you've been entertained. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>